Okay, so we're continuing our Shaurim on Ototchaim. We are in Sha Nekudim, Perik Vav, Perik Vav and Sha Nekudim. And in the old edition, it's Daf, Daf Tes Amud Aleph. And the new edition, Rav Frisch, it is page Kuf Nun Dalet. And we're starting at the beginning of the page. Um, of Kuf Nun Dalet, and it says, "Vekava Yadata." He writes, "Ariza writes, Vekava Yadata, ki atipa shemitzayeret it's a Vlad, who megadelet also, who bechin es chasadim v'gvur kinis kalei." Okay, okay, you found the place. Okay. So, what are we speaking about? Let, let me be magdim a little bit because in order for you to understand what's going on here. Generally speaking, because we'll see this is sort of an exception to the rule here, but generally speaking, there's two things. In Kabbalah, there's always the there's two very simple Yusoyedis, and that really encompasses all of Kabbalah. Kabbalah describes two things. First of all, 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 again, it's, it's only a martial all, it's the Dabur Ruchni, it's the Shefa, and then it describes also the Keli, the Keli. And the process of Kabbalah explains how the all enters the Keli. Okay, we see the development of all, we see the development of Keli, we see develop, the development of how all enters the Keli. That's basically all Kabbalah. Now the Shefa is otherwise known as Mochin. 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 But why is that called Mochin? Because we have the cloud is the Mibisola El Zeloka, the way we describe describe. Uh, spiritual <coughs> spiritual things is through looking or using evil Ibn Eldam right when we saw the Eloka for my body I see Eloka the Haino I can use uh, obviously this Evole because the, it is Eloka so Moche means Moach right that's in the brain Chochma Bin Adas that is what is is in is um, is the intellect that goes into what we call the das into the das the das is the is the is the shiluv is the connection between the chokhmah and the being the chokhmah being the chlal being the being the prad I mean the koch chlal koch prad I mean the hainu koch ria koch bina koch ria is koch chokhmah. Chokhmah is the cloud. When you come into him, you see everything. You see everything at one go. That's Chokhmah. Bina, if you don't see what's in the room, you have to explain, you know, there's a shtender, and there's a chair, and there's folium, and there's people, and so on and so forth. You mefarid every single thing. That's the Koch of Bina. You mefarid things. The Koch of Chlal is Koch Chokhmah. The Shiloh of these two things is, is, is what we call Das. Where is Das from? That's the name of the Sphira. Das. I'm not going to argue with the name of the Sphira. Like, we're not, we're not going to change the names of the Havayas and Ekes, you know. That's what we call the Kabbalah from there. That's the names. That is what we have in our, our, our brain. We, we, our biology, there's a right brain, left brain, and there's a middle brain. So this middle brain is called Das. Okay? Now this Das is a, it, what's inside. What does the Das receive from the Chochmah Bina? It receives from the Chochmah, it's called Chasadim. And receives from the left brain gvuls. Why is that? Why chasadim? Why gvuls? Because we know kav yamin, which is the right side, <coughs> the right brain, which is called chokma, is always kav chasadim. The left brain is kavadin, kav gvuls. So again, from the chokma is going to pass over to the to the middle brain, which is the das, still in the head, the chasadim, and the bina is going to spread into the head, start sorry into the into the das. Gvurot. Abbreviation of that is called Chug. Chasadim v'gvurot. Chasadim v'gvurot. We call that a Chug. Das is Mekabal Chug. Otherwise known as Mochin. Mochin. These words are just synonymous, one for the other. The reason uses this, uses them synonymous. Mochin is Mochin is Benafka both. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, obviously if it was just Chasadim, it would not be called Mochin. 
It's a mo, but it's not. It's not the typical name we use for mocha. Usually, mochin means in plural. It means the combination of your intellect, the intellect. Now, why das is so important? Because that is the connection between your head and your body, not on a physical basis, but even on a spiritual basis or on a or, or, or more on a nervous system. Because you cannot move any of your limbs if you have a nervous system is not working. That means your intellect passes nervous. Uh, I don't know what was it called neurons, neurons, neurons through the body. Medical impulses. And, right, yes, yeah, through the nervous system, and that makes your volume work. You know, a paraplegic is somebody whose his his spinal cord is cut. Therefore, the, his his nervous system is not attached. His intellect is not able to communicate with the rest of the body. Therefore, he cannot move his arms and legs. Right, he's still a normal person. This is mochim, but that's not some splash through his das into the rest of the system. Okay, that's called hispashtus a mochim, or hispashtus a chug. Okay, that's very important. Chasadim yagvod. Now, what's the tafkid of a chasadim yagvod? Better, not only to move your volume, but it's much more than that. Chasadim yagvod is actually a big yisoid in zivug, in zivug, in the patsufim. The way they're moilid more patsufim, the moilid more shefa is by having a zivug one to the other. Zochon in the cable, they have a zivug. Now, how is that? It's the same thing that we find in this world, we find it in the Pasufim as well. The first starts off with a Machshav. That's what the Ariza calls a Tipa. A Tipa is moilid in your brain. Okay? Spiritual Tipa that goes down from the Chochmah to the Bina and to the Das and all the way down finally to the Yisoydis. Abba's Mezavik with Ima. He takes this Tipa and which he originally started up into the Mochim is Mispashit in his Guf down to the Brant and the Yisod and then is Mispashit into Ima. Ima takes this Tipa and creates a blood. That's exactly the way Patsufim are born. That's the way the parts of them born. So, that tip is otherwise known as the chug, as we said. So, the vice, therefore, chug has a call to be moilid vladas. These four vladas have sar laid and everything else as well? Excuse me? These vladas have sar laid as well? Sar laid? I'll get into more details than we have to. Let's just take the facts as they are. Uh, they come down from the Moach as Mispashe down to the Das and Mispashe into the Yosoidus, right? So this Tipa has a Koach to me, Gadol, to, to, to more than just Gadol at his Vlad, but also has a Koach to Mitzayah Vlad, okay? Now, we'll see the connection, we're just giving you Agdomas for, for the moment, right? So now, what do we have? We have a Koach. A shefa. Remember, we said in Kabbalah there's only two things, right? This is a shefa and this is a kli, all in kli. And the whole process is to find out how the all fits into the kli. So we have the chuk, which is called, we call it the all, call it the mochin. Don't get confused, don't get cut off with the words. The words with these words are very limited, it's just trying to point us to the way what we're just trying to describe, more or less. So the chuk there is coming in, and the tafkid of this chuk is to create the new Patsufim. That means to create the new Vlad. New Vlad. And to Megadal him as well. Right? This is the Koach Gidol as well. Besides that, you have another Zulu Mazu, then you have the Kalim as we spoke about. The Kalim, the Marshal, we can refer to as Kalim as Oisius. And Ois is a Kalim, remember? We learned, learned Shatanta. We have Tamim, we have Nikudot, Tagim, and Oisius. Each one represents a different level. Uh, ta uh, tamim is uh, more on the gather of Neshama, Nikudot is uh, Neshama, and uh, Tagim is also Ligabi Or. Oh, when it comes to Oisius, the Ariza tells us that Oisius are Kalim. Kalim. Like we'll see in a minute, like an ois without any nakud or whatever is like a goof without a neshama. It has no chiyas whatsoever. 
It needs a Nikud, it needs Tamin in order to revive it. Okay? So a Kali is, is just uh, an Ois, it's only a Kali. But also, both things don't stim. A Kali or an Ois don't stim with a Chug. A Chug is as Pashtis as all that we to explain. What we see the Arizal over here is Machadish does, that the Emes is all one thing. It's all one thing. We're going to have to sort of get into the Mephashim exactly over here. It's a bit of a, a little bit of an issue over here. How is it that it's all one thing? How can we say the Chug is the oysters, which is the Kalim? That's the issue we're going to address here. So let, let's tell you that. Don't want to see this inside. Kvay Yadatha. Ketipa shemitzayer etzavlad umigadeles oysa hu bechinas chasodim v'guva kinis kalev. Like we said, how do you grow? What is the essence of a vlad? What makes him grow? What forms it? It's called chuk. Chasodim v'guvos. V'hine, eilu heim sod ha-oysya shemehem notza vlad. And that is the secret of the letters of the obviously the Torah Kadosha. Now how does that stem exactly? Vaod ki oisios tamid le oilam hem be bechinas hakelim kenoda. So again, I was very very much bothered about this. I spent like a long ta- a, lo- a long time trying to figure this out, and I've seen like the mafal at least one mafal uh, asked this question. So what does this have to do with that? What does the chug have to do with the formerly for, for, with Kalim, Oysis? So we can answer, we can answer that the, the Rav, the, the Rav, which we call the Arizal, is coming to my a new din here in the chug. <coughs> and I base myself on the Kerem Shlom. The Kerem Shlom says it's Shnei Dinim, two Dinim actually in chug. One, as we said, it is Megadal, it gives them the shefa, gives them the koach to grow, but also it's mitzayes of vlad. The hain, what is the vlad? It's a goof. What's a goof? A keli. It's a, it's a keli for your neshama, right? It has both koiches. It's not only limited. The rab only we previously told us is a koach amochi and call him a gibel. But now it's machadish to us a new din of the chug. The emphasis is really all, all. Um, it also forms the ois, and that's why that's the sod of oysters. It's a keli, and that's the sod of keli. That's one tale. But just this afternoon, I actually saw. I saw another mafarish, and he explains a very nice Indian. And it's up here erichin, a very posh tazach, because erichin tell us that really when we differentiate between all and keli, that's only be'er keno. When we look at things, we only see two things. We see Guf and, and, and Neshama. But if you were to able to clap the Eber Shtel uh, Moshe, he, what does he see? Only all. Only all. There's no, there's no differentiation whatsoever. There's no so. Everything is complete. All is all. It's only deceiving Lefi Arkein because our Seichel is a bit Mokhusa, we're Mamash Bokhoshech. Mamash, everything's nistu by us. But, but when everything's golo, you only see all. So it's true, chug represent only mochim, only spashtus of shefa, of all. I hear he's saying takit is differentiation. Sorry, other Here he's saying the chug represent everything, really because the oysters that we're speaking about here, and the and the and 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 the megad and the sides of lad, that's only klapenu. That's what we see. We see oys is separate from the actually all. We don't see we don't see the connection between both of them, and we see that uh, we, we see it. We see a tzio of a vlad as a goof and a neshama, but klapi Hashem, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. It's klipi all. That's that is the tafkid of of who. Ubeprad that we're speaking about the olam is very very high. We we're, were speaking about the olam avakudim, olam anikudim. In the world of Atsilas, in which there's no Ra whatsoever, there's no differentiation, everything is Kulu, Kulu, Elokus. Kulu, Elokus, that definitely makes sense to say that this is only Be'erech, Be'erochim, that he's saying this is a Kali. But Emes is not a Kali whatsoever, it's Kulu, Kulu, all. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, so let's, um, let's continue from here. Ve'elu nasim Kalim la'abba ve'ima. 
And again, this this parak is referring to the shvira that happened to the Esses Shviras came out. The Esses Shviras came out to him nine the ak. We'll see that Chochma and Bina, which are represented by Abba Vima, that's how he calls them. Abba Vima is the first two spheres. They had a minimal shvira. Where there was their shvira? The shvira was in the Achorayin of Abba Vima. And all this pair, you can just explain this Nakuda of what is the Achorayin, what broke exactly, what fell down, how far did it fall down, so on and so forth. So we're going back to the Nakuda here of Achorayin and Abba Vima. Which is Chochma Vibina. The Eilu and Nasim Kilin Abba Vima, the Sod Achorayim, Kiniskele El. That the Chug that we spoke about makes the Achorayim Abba Vima. This is what broke. The Eilu Hem She Yordu Lemata, Im Haarat Chasadim Vigvurat Hayordum Litzair, it's a Kilim Shalablad. So not only did the, 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 the Chug form the Kilim, that means the Achorayim, the backside of Abba Vima, and the backside of Abimah fell down, but also the chuk itself, which created the backside, also came down. Shehem Sheva Malochim Bebechinasu. And not only did that fall down, also the Petach, the Bet Lechem Yehud, the Azom, that there was a combination. There's two things actually that happened here. Because the chuk not only created the backside of the Abba Vima, they all, he also created, the Chug also created the Sheva Malachim, which are Das and the rest of the spheres until Malchus. So, the Achorai and Abba Mima fell into the, into the lower world, into the tactics of, of Atzilus. With the Chug and the Sheva Malachim, which is Das, Chesek, Votiferes, until Malchus, they also fell down with the Chug. That's the way the Bethlehem Yehud explains. Behine, let's go weiter. This is very nice, the way he puts this together. All this is really, when you look at the Sefer Torah and you see 22 alphabets, the alphabet, all of base, this is really the sort of Sefer Torah. The Sheva Oisus Mehem Hem Sheva Kerim Lezer Ampin Venugvea. Seven letters are taken by Zer Ampin Venugvea. And the other 15... There's 22 letters. Seven Malachim, from Das to Malchus, all shattered. They took seven letters of the alphabet. And the other 15, Abba Vimo. Why? Because Abba Vimo are two parts of them. They took as double as many, or nearly, nearly double as many as Zerampin. Now, another way, a nice remis says the Rav, is to say that when you have a Hawaii Yud Kevavke, we usually fit everything at the Yud Kevavke. So the Yud is, is Murumis to Abba, the K is Murumis to Ima, therefore comes out that Yud K, which is Abba Vima, which is 15, is very nice remez to tell you that they took 15. The kasha is, and the leshem asked this kasha, it doesn't, feel, it doesn't work the cheshbon of with ze'ampin v'nukveya. Ze'ampin v'nukveya, if you the cheshbon of yu kevav ge, yu de zaba, ima is hey, therefore vav would be ze'ampin, and nukveya would be hey. What's vav and hey? 11. They should have taken 11 letters, not, not 7. I think it's a bomba kasha. <laughs> it's very simple, but uh, very interesting Gashem. So he says, really, so what do you have? We know that Zayampin and Nukveh only took seven. What happened to the other four? He says, those are Nivla, those are Tesefes Mochem. That's called Chub, the Chochma Bevina, which is not included in the, in the, in the Zayin Tachtonim. And the Chug, which we spoke about. Those four Bechinas were not touched. Were not touched. Those are Tesefes of the Zats. And Echanami, they're included in the Zeyampin and the that's Be'etz, and that's the whole parts of together. But here we're talking about the Chelik, which broke. They broke, and they only took seven. That's more or less what he answered. You can look over there, in Sha'atanta, Per Gimo, Ois, Tetz, Vav. Let's continue. Ve'ois is Zah, Hem, Shev. Now, what are they exactly? Which letters did Zah take? So they took Shatniskats. Shin, Ay, Tet, Nun, Zai. 
גימו צדיק, שעת נצגז. ותת וב נשאר עם אם של אבא ואימא. אני אתו כפי, which one were they? שש מהם אחוריים דאב ואימא. six letters are כנגד אחוריים דאב ואימא. אבל זה הצימון עם בלדק חיים. בייס דלת קוף, חס יוד הם. כניסקה בזוהר כסב יד. But what about the other letters? ושאר אויסר שם אוכל מספחת, או that God says, you can, you can also, the letters come out to be, um, what's, what's the other one? Um, סופר סתם. Those letters, those letters also come out to be, sorry, מלאכת סופר, that's it. So you can say אוכל מספחת, או מלאכת סופר, those last letters, were taken by, by the Ponim of Abba Abima. Is that clear? Seven letters were taken by Zer Ampin Vinukveya. They represent Zer Ampin Vinukveya. When you see Shatnitz Gaz, it refers to Zer Ampin Vinukveya. When you see the next 15 letters, and we're going to split, split them up from six, to, uh, six letters, six letters and then the rest, right? And nine letters. Six represent the back side of Abba Abima, which is... What's the symbol for them? Balak Chaya. Those letters represent the back side. The front side of Abba Vima are represented by the letters Ochel Mispachat. Or, in other words, Melech Sofer. Those letters represent the Panim of Abba Vima. Very good. So every time you look at Sefer Torah, you see each letter and you know this, le this letter represents Zer. This letter represents the front side of Abba. This letter represents the back side of Abba. Let's continue. וזו הטעם שאלו אויסו של שם נסגר צריכים זיוני ותגים. Yes, he'll explain. But before we get into the why, we'll explain what about the tagim. Not to the why. When this this sort of shot is got. Yeah. Is it are these supposed to be the dark of these letters or? Dark of these letters. Yeah. We'll explain why dark of these letters in there. Now, what about the tagim? We find it interesting. Some letters have three tagim, some letters have one tagim, some letters don't have any tagim. What's the reason for that? He's going to explain this now. Now, Shatnis Gaz, we find there's three tagim on each one of the Shina and Tes Nun Zayin, Gimot Sadi. Tzrichim Ziyuni Vitagim. Shlosha tagim al kol achas mehem. Omna veoises badak haya, Tzrichim tagim al kol achas mehem. Vitamu zim. Vigam. למה נשתנו אלו אויוס כשמשה אויסו שאין בהם שום תג? So we have some תגים שאת נזכרת שזה תביעו תגים. We have some תגים, like מספחת אוכל, sorry, לא מספחת אוכל, בדק חי has one תג in each one of these letters, and the אוכל מספחת only has, doesn't have any תגים whatsoever, what's the reason for that? אבל הנה הוא ככה. כי שבע אויסו של השאת נזכרת הם סוד שבע מלוכים דמייסו. Like we say, שאת נזכרת represents זע. And those are all the Shev Molochim that died. But if you have a Nitzhav of Yotzu, a Klippot can know them. Where do we know all the badness, all the Ra, all the evil that came out all from Zer Ampin, what we said last week. That created, through the shattering, created Klippot, and that is the source of all Ra, all, all evilness in the world. Lachem. Oysus Elohem Tziru Shat Satan Ez Gats. Ez mean Az, strong. גץ, פירו שהם חוזה ותגבורס הדינים העזים אשר מהם נאסי סרטם שהם הקליפרס. זה פלי על הלילס. וכמובן נודע, מה שקוראים באדרס אליהו, אדרס האזינו, דף ריש פי טס, ובספחא דיסניוסן אור דזוהר, כי אלו השבע מולוכים הם ניצוצים דאז דריכו, כהי אומנה the batash, the parzela, the apik zikin kol sitchin. Meaning, the Zohar talks about what is this murumus to? Like a person holding a hammer and hitting it very, very hard on a, on, on a metal plate. You see all the tzutzits, all these, all these uh, sparks coming out. That is the gets. Shatnis gets. Gats. That's the gets. That's the, the nitzutz. כמו שמובא בגץ היוצא מתחת הפטי, שזה יהיה סוד עוד יצא הרבה, אז תקל את זה הרבה, זה הרבה דנג'רס ופארי, אבל זה יחזור לך שרק 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 ש
Now the tagim. We explain those three of them. Why? Kaval is by the ki sheva malachim loko ha'or shalem min agov shel adam ha'kadmon. We know that the malachim took the or from the goof from the, of Adam Kadmon. Mitachet shbule azakim. We saw that already in the, in the beginning of Shah Nekudim that the Zayn Malochim, meaning Zayn Tzviras from Das to, to Malchus, they came out from the Anayim and they received their Koach from the Achav, Mitachat Shubul, under the chin. Velo belemala. Venifta she'em chaserim b'chinu shlosha or ze elion shem or ze mechotem peh. Kilachei nishboru ha'panim v'achoraim shalem v'ibalt, since they did not receive any koach when they were showev, when they came out from the eye, they did not suck up enough koach from the achav, or ze mechotem peh. But rather they got their source of energy to create the kelim only underneath the chin. That didn't make them strong enough kelim. Avibav, they missed three of the Bechinas of Chotem, Peh, Chotem, Oz, and Peh. That is the Remez that we find on each tag on Shatis Gaz. Why there's three tagging? Because there's three missing Bechinas. That's why they broke the Ponim Achorayim. Ve'elu heim Bechinas Shlosha Tagim, Shiesh al Kol Oiz Oiz Me'elu Hasheva, Ki Eilu Hem Borem al Histalkus Ha'or Ve'idro Min Ha'kelim Shem Oiziyos. ונשאר אור למעלה מהם, ולא בתוכו, כדי רצו על התגים, שעל האויש. אז נראה לי שאני אומר את הוורט התגים. הוורט התגים זה לא רק להראות לכם מה נמצא מהאור 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 So when you see the tag, you have to remember two things. Actually, there's going to be three things in a minute. One is to show you that it's missing a chis, three chisolent in that letter. It did not receive the O, Ozen, or Chot, or Pe. The other reason why we have three tag on the O is, is to show you that three O's came out. Or the Yitzia of the O, put it to that. The Yitzia of the O from the Kili, the Nesham of the Wujur, so was originally in that O, or the Svir came out. But the O is the Badek Chaya. הם האחוריים של אבא ואימא שיורדו כבר ניבר לאל, כי אבא ואימא לא קרו שני אורות של אחות ומפה, ולא חס מהם רק אור או זה. Now when it comes to אבא ואימא, which are the first two spheres that came out, אבא ואימא, which is חוכמה ובינה, they actually got two or the three, they got the חותם, and they got the פה, but they didn't get the אוזן. That's why on בדר חי, which represent the אבא ואימא, the אחוריים, two, they only have one tagim, because it's missing the אוזן. אשר על כן לא יורדו מהם הפנים רק אחוריים. therefore they only lost the אחוריים, not the פנים. וכנגד אויסר אושר חוסר מהם. לכן אנו מתגנים תג אחד על כל אויס כנגד אויסר או פנימי פרטי של חוסר מהם. כבר ביארנו כי מה שיורד מן הקינים של אבא ואימא הוא נקרא אח. Now what are we referring to? Again, we're defining in this period the Achorayim, Ma'aba Ve'ima. And we call it Achor. But sometimes we're going to actually call it Panim. Ve'gam Nikai Panim. Ki hiliyos chaser mehem or ozen ha'elion min shnei or da'achereim. Remember we said only, had, only received, Abba Ve'ima only received the or from the Achotim and the Pin, not from the Ozen Ha'ayim. לכן החיסור הנדים שם מצידו הוא גדול, כי הוא הבחין העושה אותו פנים ופנים. So we can also call this חיסורן, not only אך, we can also call it פנים. Because the fact that if we had received the אור הפנים, the אור האוזן, it would have turned פנים ופנים באך. פנים ופנים with אבא, דהיינו, because right now, the moment, אימא's like this to the back and אבא's to the back. If it would receive another orc of the old nine, it would be able to turn Panim to Panim. Therefore, we call this situation of the loss of Kali Panim, not Ach. So we have a choice. Let's continue. Vehine, Amochin Elu Shem Chasadim Gvod. Back to the Chug and his story. Hem Nimshochim El Abba Veima Im Akelim Shel Anayid Ach Ampi. Now, what does this mean? What does Ach Ampi have to do with this? Okay, we know the, the Halbosha. Are you with me? We know the Abbasha is, we have Al Khampin, which is sort of the Nesham of all the Pratsufim. Abba Ve'ima on Malbish on top of it. So it comes out that Abba Ve'ima's interior Nahi, the lowest part of Abba Al Khampin, is, 
is muvla in Abba ve'ima. Automatically, if Abba and Ima are affected, are affected by this shvira, and they lose the achorayim, automatically Aaron Khampi will be affected. Because then the Shom of Abba Vima is the Nahi of Aaron Khampi. That's what he's saying. Again, in the Mochim Shil Eiro Mor Chasadim Gvot, which are the Chug, Hem Dim Shorim El Abba Mima Mima Kili Mima Shalalan, the Aaron Khampi. All this comes from Aaron Khampi. Dugmas Mochim de Zeampi Shubayim Ima Nahi de Abba Vima. Same thing with the Ampi. What's in the Shom? Well, how, well, how does Zeampi get built from the Nai, the Abavima, the lowest part of Abavima? So therefore, when Zeampi break down, also the Nahi of Abavima will break. Therefore, we can say there's also breakage in our Khampi. Only the Nai. Atam ki ma she goem lo in ya ze hu si ba di ki chotzo o ozem esov lo beshwosho. And again, all the reason for all of this is because he did not receive the awe of the ozem. Om na be'er she kva lo krum amba ve'ima, lo ikar chison hazeh be'er ampim, ela chison de amba ve'ima ve'ima. So that's just a question of, we're going to say, is there a chison in amba ve'ima or the chison in the ampim? We can look at it both ways. Now, one page Kuf in a new edition. Now we're going to go back into a little revision. The Rav brings into a little revision of Shah Tanta. What does Tanta mean? That's all that comes out. The Mepharshim said Trila is Lav Davka because we know the caving first came out from the Enayim and then the all came out later on, not from the Enayim, from the body back. Trila just means this is the first, first form of all that came out was, um, was this initial all of the Nikun that came from the, from the body back. The Oysis Hem Keli, we know Oysis are Keli. So meaning that after the killing came out and the all was trying to trying to get into the each one of the spheres, each sphere broke. That means each keli broke. And that's considered to be as an expression of each me'al pene meso nifudu. That means the neshama then the all flew back up and the keli broke down and went to Abiyah. This is the third remez of tagim we saw. That the first tag, the first remez of tag we said was what to to us the yitzir the all of the kid. The second remez to show you there was a chisorin in the oys. I mean those nine. And the third remez we find here by by tagim is to tell you the tag is meramis to the all which stays with the keli. Even though it fell down into this world, you know, every nitzutz, every sorry, shivri kila has a little nitzutz giving it chiyas, so it doesn't dry out. Vatamim, hem, shem, ma, dealfim, achadash, yotze, achakach, mino, o, ametzach, shel adam, akon, yitkin, keli, amalochim, kemosh, ba, vezat, hashem. Now, this is something we haven't seen yet. We're going to see there's a new all coming up on the forehead, which is going to suck in the whole situation. It's called ma'achadash. This is the sword why Sefer Torah has tagging. Have you noticed that? Why don't they put in the Sefer Torah Nikudas of Tami? It would make everything much, much easier. Much easier to prepare a, a laning with Tami and Nikudas. Why don't they do it? You know why? Because the Sefer Torah represents the Shvira. Are you with me? Again, we said that Za is represented by the Zayin letters, the seven letters of Shatnes Gats. The other 15 is represented by Abba Ve'ima, the Keli. That means what we say, Keli without the Nekud is a goof without a Neshama, it's a Shvira. Our whole Sefer Torah is representing the Shvira. So in the Shvira. Now, 
mitzad acher, we have the Baal Kor coming along, and he starts reading the Tamim and the Nikudas into the Sefer Torah. What does that represent? That represents Zmanatikum. Because it's bringing back the Neshama, back into the Sefer Torah, back into the Keli. That is Zmanatikum. We'll get more into this in a minute. Now, he says something like this. V'hu, ki kava yadati ke Sefer Torah hu b'chinas yisod de'aba. The emistic of vault in the Sefer Torah is actually Yisod the Abba. Now, why is Yisod the Abba? Now, let's think about it. Abba is, is Nichnas into Ima. Ima is Nichnas, her Nahi into. Let me repeat it again. Abba's Nichnas is Nahi into Ima. Ima is Nichnas, her Nahi, and his Nahi into Za. Right? One pulse of the other. Now, why is this safe and therefore Zai is represented by the Sefer Torah? As we said. Now, why is it that we're saying here, he's saying over here, Kabal Yadati Ki Sefer Torah Hu Bechinas Yisod De Abba. Is it Za? Or is it Abba? The Farshim asks this is a question. Torah's Chochem asks what's going on. Teret says, like we said, the Yisod De Abbasha. Abba, Vibal Abba is, is, mal, is, is, is Malbish, Ima, and Malbish Za. Obviously, Za and yes, and and and, uh, and Abba are the exact same thing, exactly ex except that one is more panimi than the other. Za is malbish Abba. But the question is, why is he referring to Yisod the Abba? So I was thinking as follows: because if we think about it, what is Netzach Hod Yisod? We're saying the Nahi forms the lower parts of it. The Nahi the Abba goes into Ima. The Nahi the Ima goes into Za. What's a nai? Netzach hod yisod. That's right leg, left leg, and yisod. Right leg and left leg are kalim, but they're closed kalim. Right? You have feet to your kalim. Your feet, you know, what, your, your blood doesn't just go flying out of your feet. It's a closed kalim. Your netzach is a closed kalim, and your hod is a closed kalim. So therefore, it's good. It's true that we have Abba being machnis, it's netzach, and hod inside ima. And Ima inside the Za, but Abba has no connection to Za because he has his mechitza of Ima of Ima. Mashi the Yesod, Yesod the Abba, as we know, is longer than Yesod of Ima. We see this Yesod in Hanukkah and the Shakavonis. That Yesod the Abba is penetrates the Yesod of Ima and goes out from the Yesod the Ima into Za. That's the only connection Za has with Abba is via the Yisod. That's why we're saying Yisod the Abba, that's the Sefer Torah. And that's not a steal to saying that Za is also a Sefer Torah because it's Hanaha. The Kavaya Data, Kavaya Noda, Ma Shekosu Bezor Behar Bemekoim is the Machshova Ibarir Kula. What does he mean by here? Why is he throwing in the Zor? So they tell Machshova always refers to what we say, that's Chochmah. And Chochmah is what we said is Abba. So again, Abba will, will be Mivarer et Kula. It means like this. The Mephashim explain like this. The Mephashim explain that what's going to happen over here. Let's just read two more lines and I'll explain to you a Valtari, a Soit here. Velachin, a Sefer Torah Mora Le'inan Aniska. That means on both, on the Shvira and the Tikkun. Ve'al Yidei HaShelech Tzibor, Kore HaParasha Ve'Sefer Torah. Like I said, the Baal Kor comes along. He starts putting in the Nikud. Nikud with the, the Tami, which is the Neshama of the Ois, is Mechaya the whole Sefer Torah. Mechaya Zave Abba Vima. That's more than Zman Nikud. Now let me add on some, something else. I'm fast and explain. That's not, that's not enough. You cannot just have a Sefer Torah and a Baal Kor. You have to have an a kahal vasava. They are also mishtatif in, in, in what we call the the tikkun alums via the kriya the sefer Torah. Meaning that what? What did the Riza keep on telling us over and over again? The chisorim of all the shvira and the reason why we are here is because of the oznai. When the Oz came out from the Anayim and they were show of Koach in order to give them Koach in order to kabbal the O, they did not get the O Oz Nayim. They only got the O of the Achav, of the Chotem and the Peh. 
but they were not Zoycha to get the oral of the Znaim. This Hashlom of the three orals they didn't get. They were missing the oral Znaim. As Mimela, for Tikkun, what do we have to do? We have to add the oral Znaim. That's the Shomim, that's the Kahal, we Shomer the Kriyasa Torah. That's what the Mufash explained. So Al day, the Baal Kora reading and putting, putting in the Nekudos, which is in the Shamas, and the Tamim, which is the uh, higher level of the Shamas, which is called the Man, the Nekudos is called the Ben, that has Shloma to the Ois, which is the, the Keli, putting back the Neshama, back in the Keli, and adding in the Tzu, that, that you have to have a Kahal being Shomea, at least 10 people, that gives the Korah Oz Naim, that is the Hashlama. Now let me just read you a little here, a little kita from the Mikta Shmelech, which is one of the most important Mepharshim on the Zohar, one of the, the, one of the Kadmonim. And he writes as follows, V'kol eile oroz mitchabrim ba'olim b'yesod de'aba l'idbarer l'vesaken. That's the yesod of the, of the Zohar. What does it mean? That this all b'yesod de'aba, imachshor v'idbarer l'lukula. What does that mean? V'yesod de'aba, when we're doing this Maisa Bal, the Bal Kora, it's Korea, and he's adding in the Shom, he's Mechayim, in the Chai Mesi, in the Gantz, all the Sefer Torah, which is the Sefer Torah, which is Mesi. It's Mesi. And all without Nekud, all without Taming, you cannot even pronounce any letter there. It's, it's, it's Gorn Shvelt. A letter without Nekud is Gorn Shvelt. You can't pronounce it. It's not worth anything. Only when you Mechayim Mesi, and that's the Gantz avoid over here again to Mechai the Macy, bringing all the, the all the Nikudas to bring it back to what it was to Memala all the Nitzutzuts. That's exactly the process being happening here. Suzamin with the fact that the Shomim are bringing the all those Nayim together, that is Mesak in the Sefer Torah. And what's the Sefer Torah? You saw the Abba, as we said, the Pinimius of Zan is you saw the Abba. Is giving you the Abba. This is all going to Yesod the Abba, which is therefore able to Mezavig with Yesod the Ima. Now, a Mesukin Dika Yesod the Abba being Mezake, which means Mezavig with the Ima, of a Zoy, then they have a Zivuk Shalim, and his Moilid is Moilid Neshomus and Sukonim. So, let me read that a little. Yesod the Abba, Mezavig, and Yesod the Ima. That means a new part of would be a part of Meshulam. And everything tak is all fine. And I threw this part of Moili the Shamas of Bene Odin. So that is the, the Gewaltik of the hair in the mitzvah of Kriyasatora. Apisod. Now, let's continue. Now, this is going to be, this, this, this new shtickle here is going to explain to us the Tamim and the Kudus, which is more on the Tikkun, the Tamim and the Tagim more on the Shvi, as we just, we, we just read out again. But again, Tim Seki, a Tamim yesh bahem, hora, v'hotza, tzapeh. You have to, Davka, literally take them out from, you can't just think in your mind, you have to come out of your pe, because the Koach pe, which is Moitzi, these Inyanim of the Tamim. So we see Bechush. Bechush, a sinon. How do we know which is one? Which is what? What is more on Tikkun? What is more on Chisorah? The Tagim don't do anything. They just sit on the letter. That's more on Chisorah. That's more on the Shvira. Masha'en Kain, the, the, the Tamil and the Kudus, which bring alive the whole Sefer Torah, that's obviously more on the Tikkun. Another difference. You're making them come alive. Ya'an ki al yedei hanigum v'akriya hem me'irim b'toch ha'keilim shalem It's not just simply you, you, you're saying words when, you, when, you, when you're being a Baal Kore You're actually bringing alive lights which are tomun and being, so I should say, actually you're nichnas lights 
spiritual koiches into the letters, and once you have this combination of letters, all of that is makes a tikkun. The as ein leoises shum nidud. Oh, sorry. Abalad tagim he mori malzman he yod be orod al gibe orod yod mikhus lehem. The as the the mashe and the tagim are outside the letters. They're not inside the letters. Tamim you the tamim is because you machnis it inside and you wake up the letters. The tagim are actually on the opposite side. They're on top of the letter. But ein ois ein le oises shum nidud vitnuah. That's another simon to show you that it's on top of the earth, not inside the earth. To tell you about the Shvira. Another difference is Kitami Nikudush Yeshbaem Abe Shomdim Tocha Oisyas. Kigon, Dagash, Varafa, Vapasak, Vamaka, Vatami. You see that they're actually in the, the these are actually in the eyes to show you that the oil is going on the eyes. The Yeshmei Mashav Omdi Tachas Ois Yes. But the Tagim, you find no difference. They're always on top to show you again. They're not in the eyes. They're talking about the lights that left the eyes. Kol Bechaz Eino El Al Gabe Ois Yes Tamin Bechus Lehem Om Nam Im Kol Ze Om Dim Etzlam Leag Lehem Afa Ki She Eino Betocham. It's still giving chiyus. Now this very next stickle is very, very important. This is going to tell you, the Mephashim actually asked what is the connection, but it's not. Right now, it's just telling you, Bikitsu, the Tziu of Abba Ve'ima. How is Abba Ve'ima built? It's very, it's Yesoid and Yesoid is here. What's the connection? Is the Shail and the Mephashim exactly how this connects to the rest of the Perik? Or, or what we've just said now? But, anyways, it's the Bin and Ar for what we're going to be learning in the future. Now, let me just give you a thumb. Abba, Abba Ve'ima are split. Let's take four, four boxes. Very simple. Four boxes. On the right hand side, you have two boxes, one on top of the other. And this is Abba. That's two chalakim. Ima has two chalakim. Now, sometimes we'll find Abba on top of Ima, and sometimes we'll find Ima and Abba side to side. Whether side to side is more on Pony with Pony, a Ritsui, if she was happy with, like the Kuvim. And sometimes the one before, the, one on top of the other, meaning the Abba is being Mashpia on it. Different tukuvas, so let's not get into it. Let's talk about a matzah where Abba and Ima are side by side. There's four boxes. So Abba is split into one and two, and then you have Ima three and four. Is the one, two, one, two, or one, two? What? Is the one, two, one, two is on top of each other or by side of each other? Look at my hand. One, two, three, four. Right? Now, this top part of Abba is called Abba Eloin. This bottom section of Abba's line is called Yisrael Saba. Yisrael Saba. The old Yisrael, because there's a young Yisrael as well, we'll speak about it. that's Zerampin. But here, this is called Yisrael Saba. I want to remember. Abba Yiloim, and the second section of Abba is called Yisrael Saba. Same thing with Ima. You have Ima Yiloim, the upper Yiloim, the upper Ima. And then underneath is called Tvuna. Remember these words. Tavuna. Again, Abba Eloin, Yisra Saba. Ima Eloin, Tavuna. Two basics. Okay? Let's see that inside. Very simple. Omna. Lemata Bezat Hashem Nevaya Sod Abba Veima Umitsiyos. I'll explain to you. Sham Nenema. Lemata means later on in, in Shar Abba Veima and Perak Base. But here's Magdim. And here it goes. Ki Abba kolel es spheres. We know that Abba has ten spheres, and Ima kulala kulula asara spheres. Also, Ima has ten spheres. Vehine. Ki Moshe zar nikra Yisrael, who kolel es spheres, venechak lebeis lebeis keneg lea veracha. Let me mark them to you. Zeampim, same thing. Two sections. The top section of Zeampim, bottom section of Zeampim. Okay. Now, top section of Zeampin is called is called Zeampin Yisrael, and the bottom part is called what we call Yishuvon. Yishuvon, okay. Now, to the left of it, or to the back of Zeam, you find two patsufim Kenegdo, That is Nuk is Nukveya, his female counterpart, female counterpart. Top of it, from Das of Zeam. To the Chaze, which is the beginning of the, the Tiferes, it's called Leia. 
underneath her is Rachel. From the Chaza, Shtei Shlish Tiferes, till the bottom, till the Malchus of Zah will be, will be Rachel. So he's saying, in the same way we find Zah being split into two, and then you have the, you have the counterparts of, 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 of the female part of Zah split into two, Abba Vim will be the exact same thing. That's what he's saying over here. So he's saying, okay, this is Ampin is, is low Abba in all Yes. Abba Vim forms the Ampin through the Nai of there. Their Nai forms the Ampin. You mean it's a Vlad? It's a Vlad, yeah. Correct. So in the same way Abba Vim are Zah is Nichluku Lishteim, Keneged Leib Rachel, because they're from top to bottom, like we explained. V'nimtze sh'rag l'leya ad shlish teferet shel za shu'u b'chazi shelo, like I explained. U'mishav l'matem matrel rosh shel Rachel, Rachel is below l'leya. V'chen inem abba v'ima ki kol echa mehen nichlak l'shnei chatsoyim, like I explained. Shnei chatsoyim elyonim shel abba v'ima, nikroim abba v'ima eloin, that's box number one and box number three. Vishnei Chatzam Tachtoni, which is box number two and four, it's called Yisar Saba Vitfuna. Vikashen Narir calls it Bibichina Achas. You can either look at it as Abba and Ima. Nimsa Shirosh Yisrael Saba Vitfuna Hem Bechaza Bishlish Tifer is the Abba and Ima. Vain Sham in Sham Abba and Ima. Vitashlom Tosh. He just brings this in the court. Full stop. That's it. He just brings this in just to explain to you how the parts of Abba and Ima. Or explain. Again, in Mephash, I'm not going to go into it. exactly what's the connection with the Achorayim Abba I think he's just explaining Kloliestik, the, the look of Abba Vim. Let's continue in our Indian. Now the Indian. It needs a diagram. It's very, look at four boxes. Very simple. Four boxes? We have many more. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll let's speak to you after we Now the Indian. Let's try to finish this off. Now the Vineva. Indian Yerid the Shevel Kalim Shalom Alachim. Ech nishboru v'yordu. Ech nishboru v'yordu. V'hine. Nidbair le'el k'etchila yatsu kol ha'kelim v'achre kach yatsu kol ha'orod k'lulim v'kesef. V'achre kach kula b'chokma v'achre kula b'bina. V'az ha'yushev v'malochim b'mai b'ina k'edim yom u'ba sh'omen b'beten meleya. We're going back to how it originally came out. All the oil went into Keser. Keser were held the light, kept his Keser light, passed on to Chochma. Chochma received all the lights, kept his Chochma light, passed it on to Bina. Bina, which is called Ima, Bimai Ima, that means the mother Ima, had now all the lights. V'nevai in Yitzias Misham. Now we're going to speak about how Ima gives over those lights. V'hina in Yitzbarele, ki alba rishon al yideh masa v'gorm chaza zun ponim b'ponim. Ki kodem shim nevar adam rishon, Hayu zun ach ba'ach. That means Adam Rishon was put on this world for one reason, in order to help the Patsufim turn from ach to ach to parim to parim. As he'll explain in a minute. Veda ki i emshel leolam lechad shum zivug elion nafil bebechinas ach ba'ach ele al yedei mitzvahs masiyos shmina tachtonim. The Tachton means Adam Rishon and all of us. We can, we have the power in hand in order to affect zivugim spiritual unities. Yehudim lemala beomnam. Kodem briyas adam bala beeset atzilus before Adam was created. Haya behecher sheoy sheoy sepam arishona yia zivug meelam shelo al yedin. This was an exception to the rule, even though Kosh Baruch gave us the keys. In order to make the Patufim a Zivugim. But nevertheless, before Al Mauritian was created, how was the first Zivu created? Elamai Koshbu took care of that. He was Mazavik Archampi Menu Basic, as you can explain it better. Kiadaim Adam Ayin. He wasn't created. Adachel Zivugahu, because Al Mauritian only came through a Zivu. Vegam Kain, Beherechu Shegdim Zivug Trila, Kodim Bias Adam, in order to create Adam. There must have been a zivug before Adam Rishon. Omnam lo ayah zivug elu b'bechiz achbachs. But that bechino, the first zivug, the primordial zivug, was a lower level zivug. It's called achbach. V'kasher nolad Adam, which Adam Rishon, ayah zivug zeh 
החזירם פנים ופנים על ידי מצווי סוב ומעשי טובים. Once Adam was, Rishon was born, he did מעשי טובים, he did, he did מצווה. And there he was able to now create a situation of Vesivu Pony Pony, which is a high Bechin of Zivu. Although, Me'az ve'alo, Anu tzarichim la'asus kol ha'bechinas, afilu bechinas Zivu g'ach ba'ach al yedeinu. K'moshi nizba'at slein bechinas b'ach ha'bechinas avos. So we now have to do all the Zivugim. V'hine, kol ze e'no e'lo bezun, aval Abba ve'ino lo hitzruch ma'ase Adam. We have no shakos Abba ve'ino whatsoever. Our connection with Zun. He added the Atzma, Me'alem, Shelo, Al Yedei, Odom, Rishon, Chos, Uponim. They only, they do their own things. They turn Ponim with Ponim. They do their own Zivug and nothing to do with us. V'hein, Uzei Al-Zivug Rishon, Kodem, Shenivare, Shkoshim, Shenivo, Odom, Rishon, Niska, Besefa, Azor, Pamim, Rabaz, Vezei, Rishon, Kach, Salek, Berusa, Lemivre, Alma. A Kodesh Pro decides to, what does it mean decides to? A Kodesh Pro decides? What does it mean? פירוש כי אז לא היה עדיין התעוררו את התחתונים אלא מאליו סילה כהכי ברוסה. There's nobody there to start the process. אלא ברוסה זה means he was male man. וזה היה בהכר כי אדום עין. אדום הראשון was in there. Therefore the first זיווג had to happen. כאילו שבוע had to do it. לכן היו אור את התחתונים עולים למעלה בסוד מים נוקבים. ביג יסוד עם קבולה. תמוז מה שעושים נשום אצל צדיקים עכשיו והם אוהלים בסוד מים נוקבים כנודה. That's a צדיקים when they go to bed, the mile of the נשום is all the way up. That's called מים נוקבים. That creates a zivog. That's what I'm sure created. מים נוקבים, what's been in there. וזו שם הקד סליק שהוא עלה, עלה שם מים נוקבים. כי אז היו עולים שלא על ידי מייס את החתונים. That creates the zivug, the מים נוקפים. אז we'll speak about later on, we'll speak about a lot about this. So, we've uh, run out of time. So, in Tashem, next time, we'll be studying um, Tashem, Perek, Goltov.